Welcome back to the channel and today we have an interesting video. A buddy of mine, Ray, him and I went to college together. He's a big old boy. He's about 6'3", about 305. And he asked me what are some good suggestions for some XL or large knives in the 100 and under category. So I made this video for him and hopefully some of y'all like the bigger knives as well. I'm sure you do if you clicked on this video. All these knives, if they are available, they will be linked down in the description. Most of them will be affiliate links, so if you want to help support what I do here on this channel, that is one way to do so. If not, no big deal. So we're getting started. These three aren't on this list because even though he's a big old boy, I think these are still too big for him to carry every day. And this beauty right here, this is the Off-Grade Knives Stinger XL. And it fits his length requirements. He wanted something about 3.75 and over so he can fit his hands on it really nicely and he likes a bigger blade this one's just a little bit over that hundred dollar price point but i had to put it in here just because it's so close so ray if you like this one i like it a lot it's a big beefy knife i think you would enjoy it as well and then these two even though i love them are really really big in the pocket so this is the Cold Steel Raja 2, and it meets his price requirement. I think they're like 89 bucks on Amazon. <laughs> and you only have that much of the knife sticking out of the pocket if you carry this thing. But it's got the wave plate there, and this is Austin Steel. I like bringing this one whenever we go out camping, backpacking, and stuff like that. And the third is the Cold Steel Voyager XL. Now, you could carry this one for sure. I just think it's still a little too long for him to want to carry. And then you can have all that sticking out of the pocket as well. But same goes with this one. You got a massive drop point blade. Austin steel grivery handles with tons of texture on them. The Raja and this one both have the tried and true triad lock. You know, it's going to be super, super strong. This one's only going to run you, I think, like 60, 70 bucks. But let's get into the main portion of this video. First up, we have the Kaiser Bag Ladder XL. It's right under a four inch blade, really close. 154 CM steel, micarta scales. It's a button lock, beautiful action. You have a flipper and thumb studs. It's comfortable and it's not that hard to carry. It's pretty streamlined in this dimension. It's not a super weighty knife, so it's not a bad carry at all. It's got a reversible deep carry pocket clip, so you're not gonna have a ton sticking out of the pocket. Excellent blade shape and it slices really well also. And this is probably the toughest knife on this list, I would think. This is the Cold Steel 4 Max Scout. Now, these prices go all over the place on Amazon, but I bought two of them whenever they dropped to like 40 bucks a piece. <laughs> I was like, what? But you have a orange blade. I think it's like 10 and some change overall. It is a little weighty, but like I said, I think he could handle this one. Love the Cold Steel 4 Max right now. You can get these for 54 bucks on Amazon. Austin A Steel, Triad Lock. Super, super tough knife. I don't love the pocket clip, but other than that, this thing's a beast and it's awesome. I think this is the only knife on the list that's not available right now in this configuration. This is the Volsteed Gator. And this is a super, super slicey knife. 14C, 28 inch steel. You have that high flat grind, kind of like a slicer grind. A fragged micarta scales. Reversible deep carry pocket clip. Just watch this action. Beautiful action. You got that thumb hole. You got the back flipper. And you have the front flipper. You got a choke up spot. Liner lock. Excellent action. I hope these come back soon. But being this one's out of stock, I replaced it with the Civivi. Am I right? Now this one doesn't have quite as big of a blade as the Gator. But it's still a pretty nice sized knife. It'd probably look like a normal knife in his hands. But you got a forward finger troll that should fit pretty much anybody's hand. This one is in Nitro V Steel. You have a powerful cutter with that straight edge right there. Excellent utility blade shape to be able to get that tip down on the things. Beautiful button lock action. You got thumb studs and flipper tab with a deep carry reversible pot clip. I love this knife. And like I said, as long as it can fit his hands, I think he would like this one as well. This one's a lot easier to carry than some of those other ones I just mentioned. But like I said, it is a little bit smaller as well. And number four, we have the O Knife Sentry R1. This is a big old blade and it's kind of like a folding kitchen knife. It's got contour G10 scales. It's got a crossbar lock, thumb hole, which I love. 14C, 28 in steel. Look how thin that blade stock is. 
That with a full flat grind, this thing slices like nobody's business. Very slicey blade. Comfortable in hand. Uh, overall, a really sweet knife. And these go for $69. I think that's an excellent price. Somewhere like 4.5 inch blade, I think it is. This is the Sencut Glide Strike. And for the money, I think this is an outstanding knife. These will only run you 40 bucks. Get it with this Micarta or G10 scales. I think I'm about to order a G10 one as well. You get that blade hole to reverse flick, forward finger choil, and then this clip point has a low tip, so the belly's not too crazy. I could still get that tip on the things if I need to. And you could also pierce into a bag of potato chips pretty easily. These are a 9CR 18 MOV stainless steel. They slice very, very well. Got good jimping up top. Now, I'm going to suggest he go with the G10 variant because the Micarta one has a little bit of flex. And I just think it's because it's a big handle and you have thin liners that have been skeletonized. Now, it's not enough to, that it bothers me any, but he might be squeezing it a little bit harder than me. So I would definitely go with the G10 if you decide to get this one. It's the Cold Steel SR1 Light. They make it in a Tanto, which I have, or you can get it in a drop point. It's got the grivery handles with the stippled texture on it. It's very, very smooth in the action. It's a big knife and it's a clunkier knife. Look how thick that blade stock is. It's just as thick as the triad lock bar. And I shied away from this because it's in 8CR 13 MOV. Well, if you hadn't seen my review and testing and what I did to this and how well it did, let's see. It still has a little bit of damage right there by my finger. That's from chopping through the copper wires. And other than that, it's pretty much unscathed. And the 8CR held up way better than I expected it to. I think right now you can get this Tanto one for 36 bucks and the drop point for 39. Super, super tough. Don't let the grivery scales scare you. I cannot even squeeze these together. We have another one coming from O Knife, and this is the Sentry L1. Now I really think he's gonna like this one because it's a pretty wicked looking knife. You got peel ply G10 with some scallops on the side right here. It's got a flipper and thumb hole. This thing rockets out. And check that blade out. It's got like a Bill the Butcher aesthetics going on. Cleaver shaped blade, D2 steel. I'm pretty sure this one is four inches overall. It's nice and slicey. Excellent utility cutter. Should easily better fit your, your big old meat hooks on here. And I can, I can choke up, but it's more of a large sharpening choil. Watch how smooth this thing is. You got to be careful. <laughs> Number eight, the Kaiser Sheepdog XL. This is another beast. You got contoured micarta scales. You got another cleaver blade. It's nice and comfortable. You can choke up on it. This particular variation just has a thumb hole. They have plenty of different variations. You can get it in G10, coated, non-coated, flipper, thumb hole. And this one's going to run you $99 or somewhere in that vicinity, I think it is. 154 CM steel. This thing, I like using this as a chopper in the kitchen. <laughs> I cut up stuff with it in the kitchen all the time. It's got beautiful action. Deep carry pocket clip. Now this tip up right hand carry only. Next up, while we are on cleavers, this is a massive one as far as width goes. This is the Concept Corvette XL. Mine's in my car. You can also get it in G10. Plenty of different options. It's got a huge flipper tab, and that thing rockets out. Look at that big old behemoth. Nice fullers going down on both sides. You got some pretty egregious jimping, but I can overshoot it into that little thumb hole right there. You got a place to uh, choke up on this one comes with a deep carry pocket clip it's not only did it slice well it's pretty strong i i think i even hit this one through some uh, copper wire as well the coating held up really nicely and after the testing I, I put a semi mirror polish on that blade and boy did that 154 cm get sharp this next one's the cold steel recon one not this particular one I couldn't find on Amazon, but the drop point one, which is the next one I'm going to be getting because it's more versatile than this clip point. But you get a four inch blade, super tough triad lock, G10 scales. This thing is a beast. And you can get that drop point blade one right now for 89 bucks on Amazon. This one is in S35 VN steel. It's DLC coated. I'm pretty sure you can find them now without coated blades. Those 
Choils, even though I'm not a huge fan of Choils, they fit my hand nicely. And being that there's no liners in there, this one's not super heavy. Should be able to fit your big old meat hooks, I would think. But if not, there's tons of other options. That's why I came out with 15 altogether. Another great bank for the buck, and that is the Sin Cut Fantara. This one's got G10 coated drop point blade of 9CR 18MOV steel. Nice and slicey. Deep carry pocket clip. Smooth action. You got that flipper that rockets out. Or that blade hole if you want to do a reverse flick. Thumb roll. Yeah. This one's got, I think, about a 3.7 inch blade, something like that. And a nice, generous handle. If you're looking for something big and lightweight, the CJRB Large Pyrite is the way to go. This one has super snappy action. You have micarta scales, button lock, AR RPM 9 stainless steel, which I've tested enough. It's really good for the price. Deep carry, reversible pocket clip, super smooth action. This one's thin, lightweight. It's, it carries like a much smaller knife. Once again, I'd probably steer him to the G10 variation or the stainless steel one because the micarta one has a little bit of flex. Not something that really bothers me much because it, it doesn't fail on me or anything, but I think for him, I would probably either go with one of the G10 options or the stainless steel option. Next up, we have one coming from Dagger Knives, and this is the Sting XL. And this thing's a beast. Another one that carries pretty slim in the pocket. You got G10, peel ply G10, reversible deep carry pocket clip. I'm not the biggest fan of this skull motif clip. And you got that same skull shaped hole right there so they didn't get in trouble for making a circle from Spyderco. Reverse flick this one. Now this is another big, big knife. This is the Ontario Rat Model 2. This one has a four and a half inch blade, D2 blade. Nice drop point or spear point. Beautiful action. This one's got about a 4.5 inch blade. Or if you wanted something a little bit more compact, you got one with a 3.9 inch blade. This is the regular size and then there's a mini. This one is an outstanding, outstanding value. And that is the Miguron Valona. It's amazing what they give you for the money. Comes in at 53 bucks. You got peel ply G10 scales over stainless steel liners that have like almost like a polish on them and they're rounded. Beautiful action. You can use that flipper or you can use the fullers. Large blade of 14C28N, which is an outstanding budget steel. It's about a 3.75 inch blade. You have a beautiful crown spine up there on the top. Nice and rounded. Makes it nice and comfortable. Nice and smooth action. You can reverse flick off that fuller. It's a snappy action. And it comes with a mill titanium pocket clip. That's definitely not something you see on many $50 knives. Next up, we have the Artisan Cutlery Accelerator. Not quite a four inch blade, but it's a pretty big knife. It's got contoured micarta scales. You can get it in a coated or non-coated blade. You got a pop of color with that backspacer right there, a hidden lanyard post. You got the dollar sign right there on the mill titanium pocket clip. And that is the designer's maker's mark right there. Beautiful harpoon blade right here. AR RPM 9 stainless steel. Stupid smooth. You can reverse flick it. Thumb flick it. It's pretty comfortable. You can get all the way up on those scales right there. So you got tons of handle. You, you'll definitely better fit this one. The designer is Mike Snowdy. That's his maker's mark. And he's a Hall of Fame knife maker. One more that is kind of similar to this O Knife Century R1. And that is the Tacray Folding Kitchen Chef Knife. Now, this is a big knife as well. I think it's even bigger than the O Knife. It's got a thumb hole, G10 scales. It's like a button liner lock. And then check that this I, this one I like how low that that edge is from the knuckles so if you are using the kitchen you can without the knuckles coming in contact with the cutting board it's got a full flat ground VG10 blade and man oh man I sharpened this thing up and talk about wicked sharp I've tested it it did well and you got a, I think yeah four and a half inch blade on this one so you're gonna have blade for days now this one comes in at $44. 
which I think is unreal. This button right here. You press that, and then it's pushing a liner over, kind of like a the smock. It's got smooth action. And like I said, this one doesn't have a pocket clip. However, for $60, you can get the version that is even bigger than this one. This one has a 4.5 inch VG10 blade. The other one has a 5.49 inch VG10 blade. This one's like 10 and some change. That one's like 12 and some change. And the one that's $60, not this one, the other one has a pocket clip on it. And this thing's not super heavy. And I'm sure that one isn't either. Talk about fun to use. It stays in a kitchen drawer to do a little chopping here there. I'm really contemplating on getting the one with the pocket clip so I can carry it, carry it as well. I am not dropping this in the pocket. There you go. Do you have any large knives? I'd say anything with a 3.75 inch blade or over, mainly closer to that four inch range that are under $100 that you would have put on this list. The only one that I would have put on this list that I don't, I don't have right now, it's at a friend's house, is my Cold Steel Spartan. Other than that, right now, this is what, you know, I think this is a pretty solid list. And let me know what you think about it. If any of these interest you, they will be linked down below. And yeah, I hope everybody's having an absolute amazing day. If you have any questions, comments, concerns, leave those down below. And I will see y'all on the next one. Hey!